So we, Callie and I got a puppy. He is a silver lab. He is officially three months old and I've had him for roughly a month. And I wanted to wait. I didn't want to make an initial pup date when her and I didn't know him, when I didn't really know her with him and I didn't know myself with him. Cause you never know, like she could have not liked him. She's tolerant and she likes him when she wants. Kind of like me, cause I'm a Gemini. I feel like she has two sides too. Um, a human side and a dog side that she's working on. Hi, buddy. He's a baby. Look, you have a tail. Callie doesn't have a tail. <laughs> oh my God, what the heck? When we pulled up, Mr. Blaze was dead asleep. It was an hour car ride from the airport. I had to like physically shake him and wake him up. And immediately when she ran out, he just started growling at her. And in my head, I was super nervous because I just did not know what was gonna happen from that moment. Oh my gosh, do you not like her? She's like, I'm sorry, you're small, you're new, and you're yelling at me on my property. Absolutely not. So she kind of ignored him after that and just focused on her human best friends, which she knows and she loves. I think what the hardest thing was about the transition to getting the puppy is obviously it's a new puppy. I didn't even get her when she was a puppy. I got her right before a year. For Callie and I is we're up with the sun. She is like up and cuddling with me randomly but I am up working and that quickly took a halt because I needed to implement him into the schedule I needed to make him a priority and this sounds crazy because I feel like I'm talking about a human child I do not know how you boss women do this with children like human babies it's crazy it's been like the month i've gotten nothing done but at the same time the most work done i ever have because i'm like forced to work in between the time that he's sleeping good girl you know what's going on behind you what's that like hmm? be oblivious so i purchased this jeep willy a while back and my brats helped me move it into place and i even give you a mini tour which i'll link down below for you and card it okay Woo! With five structures, including my house to get to makeover wise, getting the Willy up and running isn't the biggest priority of mine. Now that doesn't mean that we can't do something temporary to make it functional in the meantime and also super cute. It's been sitting here for a minute, plain Jane in a prime sunrise location. It is also directly in the middle of my gaming area that has horseshoes and archery and then right next to my fire pit. So I thought, why not just turn this into a Willy day bed so that way it's like a moment to lounge with some shade if you didn't want to be a part of the three areas that were around or if you just wanted to sit and take a breather with a DIY such as this since it is unique big and bulky and kind of speaks for itself it's really about staging the smaller details and quote-unquote landscaping that will make the biggest difference between walking my own property to find the leftover terracotta pots that the previous owner had left behind and then Home Depot having this killer like discounted sale on the plants I decided to choose, I was able to bring this to life fairly quickly without breaking the bank. <laughs> this is not real. Oh no. Where is he? Is he in the bush? Probably. He was long. No, he's huge, but there's no way but he's, he's just- so like slow. Like I'm not that scared of it. No, no, and he's, and he's harmless. Um, oh, he's always <laughs> far. Yeah. He's really big. Right. He's fun. Right. His They're back very... of his head? Right behind his ear. Right behind he's it? nice and slow. Don't go crazy. Right. He's making a break for it. Oh. You got him. You got him. so big. Oh! Oh, fuck no. Oh, no. Come here, Patrick. I need you. He says, I'm eluding you. Oh, oh no. Where'd he go? It's your friends. So rude. Oh, my God. Oh, he's so nice. They're very chill. We need something chill. for the top of the bucket, Rachel. Okay. Oh, no. If he starts to scurry off or anything like that, and you really want to touch him? Yeah, I like, think I might touch him. Be chill. This house okay. is actually really cool. I built you a house, buddy. Oh. Patrick. Patrick, this is your new house. Mr. Brett is relocating. Yeah. Move that bus. <laughs> Listen to him move. Are you trying to be a rattlesnake? He's like, no, oh, I want to stay. Know, do you like the bucket? Is it warm? Do you want to give him a goodbye? Goodbye, Pat? Uh, no. Okay, that's close enough. 
No. Okay, be good. I'm gonna miss you, kind of. I mean, I really don't know how human mothers with human babies do it because I'm just now making myself a meal and it's like the quickest meal you can make. I thought I'd bring you in on when the dogs are sleeping. Oh, he's not sleeping. He's right here. I'm not gonna be able to hold you like a baby for much longer, sir. I'm not. You know that? I'm gonna make myself a meal because your mom pulled an all-nighter and I've gotten like 45 minutes of sleep. Specifically because you were bad last night and you wouldn't go to bed. You were just awake. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. I need to eat. He loves being held and I genuinely don't know how much longer I'll be able to hold it. We're gonna do a quick commercial break. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. A little fun fact for you. When I first moved in, the home came with the original knives for the family. And I didn't feel awkward about using them because I'm really close now with the daughter of the original owner of the house. Um, so nothing felt weird to me. But Mizen comes in with the chef's knife and it legitimately replaces all the knives that I uh, essentially was donated. So I'm really excited to have um, a knife that kind of does it all, right? There's a tool for every job and this tool can be for every job in the kitchen. I'm very excited and I'm gonna show you. Please don't eat the tile floor. Okay, what you are going to see me make right now is something that is one of my go-tos all the time because it legitimately takes probably 15 minutes in total. It is the lightning kale and fried crispy egg, and I'm gonna have some watermelon on this side because it is hot. And as much as I don't wanna eat hot food, that was a healthy plate. So, let's get started, shall we? I really can't believe I was that person that didn't cook or didn't have the time, but it really was because I didn't have the tools. Upgrading to a better knife shouldn't be confusing. Mizen has completely eliminated the overwhelming part of like reading up on the knives in the marketing jargon to take the guesswork out of buying. The Mizen Chef's Knife is designed to replace an entire set of knives. Yes, you heard me right. With a unique sloped handle for easier and safer chopping, the Mizen Chef Knife is the right tool for all cutting tasks. Their knives are also made from premium materials like high-grade stainless steel, which helps them stay sharper longer and last a lifetime. Mizen is also two to three times less expensive than other premium knife brands, and if that doesn't do it for you, you can go to the link in my description box and use promo code Rachel Metz for 20% off your first order. You heard it right. You can go to the link in my description and use my promo code Rachel Metz for 20% off your first order with Mizen today. My favorite dish and watermelon salad. Thank you, Mizen. Seriously, I was cutting with such a dull knife before trying to sharpen the ones that have been there <laughs> or been here since before I moved in. Basically the whole time the house has been here. It makes my life a lot easier to have a good knife. It always makes the jobs easier when you have the right tools for them. And Mizen's chef knife in the pan, chef's kiss. Also, you can wear eye patches during this meal because it takes that long to make it. Fun. Thank you so much to Muzin for sponsoring today's episode, but also keeping my cutting on the back end nice, sharp, clean, and top quality. This lovely lady of mine uh, isn't really a dog. <laughs> she is definitely a human trapped in a bulldog. Wait, but I want you. Come back up. Like I said, Callie is not a dog, but he is for sure a dog dog. And it was really rad to see her become more of a dog with him being around um but she's still she's still uh it's still new <laughs> Yay! i really do love my life i love that he's such a cuddler i love that he loves his sleep i also love that he's rambunctious and he challenges his sister is that your brother cal he's very excited <laughs> I wanted you to feel the reality of working on this DIY while having a new puppy and this heat. So that's why we're bopping back and forth because that is actually what's happening. When I had the time, I took the stone that was from the fireplace and the outdoor bar that I recently made over and I sprinkled leftover decomposed granite that I had on hand in between the rocks as I laid them for grout, if you will. 
After the plants were planted and the DG was laid, that is when I decided to water everything down. Since DG gets fairly hard after being compacted in wet, I won't have to worry about those stones on the bottom shifting. I added smaller details throughout this willy that I don't think a lot of people would expect and that's what makes it fun since it isn't a working car and it is a daybed DIY temporarily. Box here so you can put like your shoes or whatever so they don't get hot and you can cover them. And then I'm going to leave this little area open mainly because when you open this, you put a little hidden treasure. And they put old school lighters and old school postcards for people to write on. A little clip to keep them all together. Callie gentle with him. It was funny to see Callie totally loosen up and start to play with him, but also lay down the law and then he would like just instantly catch on and follow. But like I've never had two dogs and experienced two dogs just work so well together. He really does listen to her until he's had enough and now he starts to be very boisterous back because she does that to him. That's okay, Kelly. you just need to be gentle. I do really, really love that he always tries to cuddle her. They haven't really cuddled 110% yet, but they're getting there. I also think Callie was irritated that he didn't leave with one of the friends and so she's been a little bit moody towards me when she thoroughly realizes he exists here 24 seven. But at the same token, when I'm not around or when I jump in the shower, she'll start to rile him up and he'll start to zoom with her. So I just think over time, they'll become the bestest of friends. If not, Wood Brains Bulldog Zoe and he are boyfriend and girlfriend. It's by far the cutest thing I've ever seen. Okay, so both puppies are asleep. I have had to redirect the next two months because I wasn't aware of how hot it gets in July and August. It's the hottest months. Literally people from the desert leave <laughs> to get away from the heat and businesses shut down. As much as I am bummed, I can't like necessarily complete the outside. We wouldn't be using it that much anyways because of how hot it is. I am now redirecting to come inside. So behind you, you have a tool room on the right. The reason that all my tools are inside is because the workshop is clearly not going to be up and ready for quite some time. The one to the left, the log cabin room, that one is for like my decor or items I'm purchasing and curating for different makeovers. Over on the workshop and now decor side, that will be another makeover and I will be turning that into my temporary office tool house decor storage. You'll see. I'll show you a couple things I'm gonna be working on throughout this puppy vlog because I need to redirect being inside with him and just making sure that they are solid. I didn't realize how much I missed doing actual room makeovers. It's when I started to think about the guest room yesterday and I started to shop for it. The amount of ideas that came to me, it just makes me feel like I'm me again. I feel like I couldn't think in the heat. So anyways, Let's get to work on consolidation, huh? Good girl, Callie. This is very cute. I'm very happy. I hope you're happy, mama. Getting through that room slowly but surely, but something that Callie is doing, she's sleeping in all the way in the back of the closet. I know that she's been feeling fine. She doesn't have hives, so I don't know if it's like he's a little too much for her and she just wants privacy. It's kind of like breaking my heart and I'm like, uh, trying to convince her to come out with different treats and stuff, which she is, but then she ultimately just goes right back in here. Everything okay, my girl? Is it just too much for you? Oh, see, then she follows me, but then she'll come sleep like if I turn this. Hi, sweetie. I was just talking about how you're just staying in there, which is fine. You're allowed to do whatever you want to do. It's your house, you know, I just live in it. You think you're doing okay with this whole situation? Am I a good mom, you think? Or was this a bad idea? You, culprit, with my rug. You know you're a lot for your sister. I think she was meant to be an only child. Yeah, it's about time for your next nap. Oh my guy. You're not gonna be this small for forever. Okay, good night. Oh, is that real? Okay. Let's get back to it. So I'm going to work for the next two hours because at sunset, like said, like like an hour-ish at night, I play fetch with them when it gets a little cold. So she already knows that she's trying to come outside. We're gonna work, play, clean up, work out. My house looks like I have a baby, and that's because I do. Come here. Come sit. 
You're learning. Sit. Good boy. Good girl, Kyle. You're always good. I am very proud of the progress of the both of them. I know it's only going to get better, specifically because I started really training them thanks to Woodbrain's husband, Eric. No bad ties on Instagram. Go follow him. He's an incredible artist. He's just an intelligent, positive man all around. Go figure. He's literally Lindsay's better half and Lindsay says better half. I don't even know how to say that. They're both perfect halves for each other. So when I spent the weekend, this past weekend over there, he taught me so much about training them. And now I train them every morning and every night and I do see such an attitude adjustment from Callie, which um, I wouldn't have learned and be able to share with you on a pup date if I were to have just done this right when I got him. All right, sleeping in the bed. We'll see you in the morning. Ready to cuddle, Blaze? Stay there. Stay up there, we're gonna go to sleep. Sit, sit. Good boy. Callie, I love you. I love you, Miss Callie. Okay, time to go to sleep. And this is how we get the Instagram shot. All right, guys. We've never done this with two dogs before. Hi, this is your first makeover photo. Come here, cow. Come here, cow, cow. Come here, both of you. Up. Oh. Ah. Okay. Hi, please. Please. No. Please. Oh. I truly love this property more and more, even the smaller weirder things that I'm doing to it like this Jeep Willie daybed and that's because it is so unexpected. When you walk up to it, I feel like you think it's going to be a rundown car and then you realize you can totally sit in it, relax, kick back and enjoy the desert and that's exactly what my goal is. Actually, my goal was to make a sunrise spot for me and the pups. When you have people by the game area, which will be the next video. I have like a big piece of wood that's just on the property that's it's just in a huge pile I need to get it out. It will go directly across here as an option to put like a cooler and foods and what have you. And then we just... It's shut. So that's like its own little countertop, not including the space that's already inside as well, right? Because you have so much space to kick your feet up, put a big plate right there or whatever. There's extra blankets. And then that up there is the mini trash can. This unravels and hooks to here. So, out of the light situation there, there. And there's a spotlight behind there and a path leading up. And... I replaced that drape with the bamboo stuff. Um, it just looks a lot cuter. And I put two solar ground lights on each side of these so it lights the inside of the Jeep if you wanted to come out here and it wouldn't be so scary. Cute. Okay, this is the first time seeing it lit up and it totally looks like a little bit of an amusement park, which I love. Um, don't mind the mess, we're gonna clean it tomorrow, but I wanna add a third light, I think. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, I almost just tripped, I'm so excited. Oh my God. Like, trip out, like what a difference just solar lights make. Well, there's that. We're officially a family of three, and I love it. I love it so very much. I think it's incredible to be responsible for Mr. Blaze and to give him the best possible life I can. I also am re-inspired to train her and give her all the puppy experiences I didn't necessarily get with her because I didn't have her as a puppy. So that has been interesting. And then throwing in the couple of DIYs that we did, you know, just therapeutically starting the guest room, getting inside the house and doing that. I can't wait to show you that. That transformation is absolutely wild. And then the Jeep Willie day bed. That was just fun. Like everything has been fun and lighthearted lately. And I just hope to continue that streak because I do leave it, Blaze. That is your sister's. Do not make her afraid of the balloon. Don't do it. Nope, nope, Blaze, leave her. Dog two is below me with the balloon. I'm holding, or dog one. She is dog, oh, you can see her. Dog one is below, dog two is in my arms, and I just feel really complete. I can't believe I was so boy crazy when I could just be boy puppy crazy. I love you, I love you. Thank you for giving me my power back, sir. Thank you for giving me my power back, sir. This was a chaotic episode, but it's a chaotic, beautiful life. We love you guys. We will see you soon for another DIY.